We are being hailed, sir. It is Chancellor Danub. On screen. Captain Picard, you have my warmest thanks. We had really given up hope. We are pleased to have been able to help. Have you recovered all the pods yet? My staff tells me all the evacuees are safe and sound. And my compliments to your medical staff. Our surgeons were quite impressed with Dr. Crusher's handiwork. I'll pass that along. The last of the injured personnel should be beamed down within the hour. I think we can handle it from here. By the way, Dr. Greems personally extends his gratitude. He felt he owed you and your crew an apology. Tell him we accept his apology. Picard out. What are your orders, Captain? I guess we should continue on with our mission. Set course for the Ruinor sector and resume our patrol along the neutral zone. Yes, sir. Engage. I'm guessing that it's going to be quiet for a while. Let's go and speak to our guests again. The Fifth Scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. Even if you don't agree with Lucana's goals, I urge you to talk to Shaynak and help us find the scroll for science's sake. Well, we don't have anything else going on at the moment. Let's go and see Shaynak. I have decided to visit Shaynok and see whether he can help you regarding the Fifth Scroll. Thank you for agreeing to visit Shaynok, Captain. The Fifth Scroll could be the greatest social discovery in Garrett's history. Understood. We will be underway at once. I will let you know when we arrive. Mr. Worf, inform Starfleet that we will be assisting the Garridians in their search. Aye, sir. Computer, what are the current whereabouts of the Vulcan archaeologist Shaynok? According to Federation archaeological survey records, Shaynok is currently excavating ruins on the planet Horst 3. Set course for Horst 3, warp 5. Aye, sir. Engage. I guess it's going to take a while. I'll cut to the moment we arrive. Helm, standard orbit. Greetings, Shaynok. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Captain, how may I assist you? Shaynok, we have several Garidian refugees aboard who are trying to find something called the Fifth Scroll. They said you might be able to help. Possibly. I once did extensive research on the Lawgiver and the Followers. They fled into what is now Federation space a thousand years ago, bearing the Fifth Scroll with them. We've heard of them. So where did these Followers go? I never found the Followers' colony, but your friends should not lose hope. In my search, I stumbled on one of the Followers' ancient ships. The logs indicated that they had found an M-class planet suitable for colonization. What brings an archaeologist of your stature to such a remote planet? I am excavating the ruins of a Chodak outpost. The Federation Archaeological Survey is sponsoring my work. Who are the Chodak? An ancient race. At their peak, the Chodak occupied most of what is now the Romulan Empire. But I thought all known Chodak ruins were on the other side of the neutral zone. This is the first Chodak site found in Federation space. It was my good fortune to discover it.
What have you found so far? A great deal, actually. I have uncovered evidence of an extensive administrative system, as well as examples of Chodak computer technology quite similar to our own isolinear rods. Intriguing. Such devices would be among the oldest known examples of isolinear technology in the galaxy. I hope to confirm that fact. I sent several rods to the Merton's orbital station for testing. They've developed a gravitic stress dating method which is extremely accurate. However, I have not yet received their results. I'm afraid we have got some bad news for you, Shaynok. Merton's station has been attacked. It was almost completely destroyed. Indeed. That is a great loss. I'd be most eager to examine the site myself. I can beam down immediately. Captain, I'm aware of your reputation as an archaeologist, but I cannot permit any visitors. The excavation is far too delicate. My apologies. Thank you for your help, Shaynok. Good luck. And to you, Captain. Live long and prosper. What are your orders, Captain? Hmm, what are our orders? Let's wait in orbit just for a little while. I should like to consider the situation a bit further. Captain, message from Starfleet. It is Admiral Redrick. Oh, hello? We probably shouldn't ignore this. On screen. Greetings, Admiral. What can we do for you? Jean-Luc, good to see you again. I have a little favor to ask. Would you be interested in finding a little lost lamb for me? A lamb? Yeah, a figure of speech. I have a friend stationed on Morassia, an exobiologist. I haven't heard from her in quite a while. I'm getting a little worried. I'd like you to check into it if you can. Marassia? Isn't that some sort of zoological habitat? Oh, it's much more than that, Jean-Luc. The Marassians have created three distinct biotopes, three completely different ecologies in one section of their planet. They call it the Preserve, the latest wonder of the galaxy. Who exactly is this lost lamb? Her name is Dr. V. Hunforsch. She was on Barassia cataloging local species for the Federation Zoological Database. But no one's seen her for days. Have the local authorities investigated the matter? Constable Lixey, who runs the preserve, thinks V. went on a field trip and that there's nothing to worry about. To humor me, she said I should send a team to investigate. Admiral, do you have any reason to suspect foul play? Uh, the truth? V is headstrong. She might be chasing butterflies. But I think there's more to it than that. And Jean-Luc. Marassia is applying for Federation membership. You could review the state of affairs there while you're looking for our exobiologist. Well, we have nothing else going on at the moment. Let's go and do this. Very well. As soon as we receive your report, we'll get on the way. I'll transmit it immediately. Oh, and Jean-Luc, the Morassians have a strict matriarchal society. Males are usually treated as servants at best. Don't take it personally. Understood, sir. Good luck. Redrick out. Lay in a course for Marassia, warp 5. Yes, sir. Engage.
Again, there's little else we can do here until we arrive, so again, I'll cut straight to it. Helm, standard orbit. Captain's Log Supplemental. The Enterprise has arrived at Marassia to investigate the disappearance of Dr. V. Hunforsch, an exobiologist stationed here for the past two years. The three species native to this world have enjoyed a millennium of peaceful cooperation, and this visit will give us the opportunity to review Marassia's petition for membership in the Federation. It's time we introduced ourselves. Mr. Worf, Hail Constable Lixie. Aye, Captain. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. We have come to investigate the disappearance of Dr. Hunforsch. Welcome to Morassia. As I told Admiral Redrick, I really don't think Dr. Hunforsch is in any danger. She's probably on an extended field trip. Good. We'll need your beam-down coordinates. I shall transmit them. And Captain, in order to protect the animals in the preserve, we permit no weapons of any kind on the surface. Our away teams carry phasers for self-defense only. They can be locked on a low stun setting. I assure you none of your animals will be harmed. I'm sorry, Captain. I won't allow it. We cannot predict how even your lowest setting will affect our animals. We really should respect their laws. We will respect your laws. The away team will not be armed. For a male, you are unusually cooperative. Is there any better way to begin a relationship? Who? Oh. Forgive me, Captain. I am not accustomed to seeing a male in command. I will await your investigators. Okay, that went fairly well. Beam down coordinates selected. Ah, yes. I have enabled the lieutenant setting. So I can now actually pick and choose who I want to bring with me and our equipment. Data, Troy and Crusher are definitely good options. Who's Carl Strong? I'm guessing these are red shirts. I'm not exactly too sure how to change our people. Oh, here we go. Let's bring Riker along for this one. And yes, we're definitely not allowed any form of weapons. Beam down coordinates selected. There we go. Easy enough. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise. I'm here to look into Dr. Hoonforsh's disappearance. Welcome to Marassia. As it turns out, I'm conducting a little investigation of my own. I'm curious to know why the Federation allows so many male officers. Doesn't it cause morale problems? I'd be happy to discuss that later, but right now I prefer to talk about the doctor. Oh, don't worry yourself about that. Now seriously, how do you handle discipline without a strong matriarchy behind you? I have a feeling I'm not going to get anywhere with this conversation. I understand if self-analysis is difficult for you. I meant no harm.
Yeah, maybe we should let Troy take the lead in this one. I'm Councillor Deanna Troy of the Enterprise. I'm investigating the disappearance of Dr. Hun Forsh. Welcome to Morassia. As I told Admiral Redrick, I really don't think Dr. Hun Forsh is in any danger. She's probably on an extended field trip. Who saw the doctor last? Apparently, Consultant Idia was the last to see her. They had dinner or some such. It's all in my report. You should be able to access it through your tricorder. Is it possible the doctor might have injured herself somewhere in the preserve? Of course. But our surveillance system can detect signs of distress in any of our inhabitants. And we've had no sign of trouble from the doctor. You don't like the doctor very much, do you? She hasn't made many friends here. She disagrees openly with our philosophy, our methods, and has even accused us of smuggling banned species. I'd like to examine the preserve grounds where she was last working. We'd prefer to limit the number of outsiders in the preserve while it is under construction. Investigating the doctor's laboratory should be sufficient. It's important that we retrace the doctor's steps exactly. And besides, the Federation has requested an update on Morassia for your membership petition. If you let us into the preserve, we can make a more detailed report. The Federation's requests are not law here. Not yet. But in the interests of cooperation, I'll open up the area surrounding my outpost. Be sure to stay within the visitors' areas. You must understand, my responsibility to the animals comes first. I'd like to see the doctor's quarters. Of course. Her laboratory quarters are at the end of the path towards the mountains. The constable doesn't seem exactly thrilled that we're here. Okay, let's do some exploring. This is the constable's computer. That's not working. The food's probably for the bird creature. That's not working. Okay, maybe I shouldn't explore too much. What a beautiful bird. Let me guess, that's not working. That's not working. That was correct, okay. <laughs> Let's hope this fruit is still here. I'm not really wanting to walk all the way up here to walk all the way back. Let's go and explore the laboratory. Okay, this may take a while. Or maybe not. It's a bioprobe. It's used to extract biological samples from the field units. That's not working. That's not... Pixels. There we go. It's a carcass. Maybe we should let data take over from this. Oh, 
okay. Subject is marked as a myocorday mole. Probable cause of death is neural energy loss. Subject is marked as a Frednorian whore. Probable cause of death is malnutrition. The field unit is configured for a specific terrain and climate. It monitors the conditions of animals who have been injected with identification microchips. Oh, we can take the movies. Oh, so they suddenly went silent. used first. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subjects' neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. It was that one. Apologies for that one. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subjects' genetic signature differs from its identification tag. Subject is in a conibore. Be a communication device around here somewhere. It's a computer. That's not working. Ah, there it is. There we go. The doctor's files have been erased. There is one message from her personal log. Sessions with Tracker Melas cancelled. Schedule again after field trip. Ah, I meant to use data to contact Melas. So bear with me one second. Open a channel to Consultant Idia. Channels to Consultant Idia are closed at this time. That's quite handy. The reason why I'm going to use data is because of his technical know-how. Open a channel to Tracker Melas. Channels open. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. Greetings. I doubt that she is in any danger. She's probably just taking a vacation after her blow-up with Constable Lixie. We found your name in the doctor's laboratory. What is your relationship with her? I teach her territorial recognition. At least I did. We suspended our lessons after the power outages began. I haven't seen her since, but I doubt she's lost. Such an excellent tracker, even if she is a bit weak in the nose. You mentioned power outages. Can you describe them in greater detail? A power surge at our quarantine shelter destroyed some of the generators. Two watchers were seriously injured and several animals escaped. Since then, we've had outages in the biotopes. They're still under investigation.
Without the generator, the individual containment fields in the shelter will not function. You would no longer be able to quarantine any animals for analysis or adaptation. That's right. Most of our personnel are out searching for escaped animals right now. Dr. Hunforsch might be doing that on her own. This blow-up you mentioned, do you mean the constable and the doctor had an argument? Dr. Hunforsch discovered that several animals from Alamut's second shipment were illegal species which had been mistagged. I think she accused the constable of smuggling, but I'm not sure. Healer Zolas told me the story. What exactly are the Watcher's responsibilities? I have some questions regarding several animal carcasses which we found in the doctor's laboratory. Of course. The boar's identity tag is incorrect. It is actually an Akana boar, a close genetic relative of the Frednorian. However, Akana are banned for import. How did this animal get into the preserve? That's one of the new arrivals from the second shipment. Maybe there was an error. You know, we've had a number of minor problems with creatures from that shipment. A creature tagged as a Frednorian boar apparently died of starvation. Do you know how this could have occurred? Hard to say. The Watchers are quite good. I can't imagine they just let this happen. Maybe they were given the wrong care instructions. Or maybe the animal was not identified correctly. A creature tagged as a Kujan gibbon died of a parasitic infection not found in its native habitat. How could this have occurred? I don't know. The Watchers are the ones who care for the animals. Maybe they can help you. One creature experienced an energy drain within its neural pathways. It is untagged but appeared to be a mole of some sort. It's probably a Mayacorde mole. They're quite common on Marassia, but I've never heard of one dying like this before. Its cause of death is unusual, but not unprecedented. I have personally encountered a species that consumed human neural energy for survival. Is there a preserve animal that might feed on Mayacorde neural energy? None that I know of. Perhaps the Mayacorde got caught in one of the generator power surges, but then it wouldn't be drained of energy. I don't know. Smuggling is a serious offense. It would certainly jeopardize the acceptance of Morassia into the Federation. That's why she thought Constable Lixi might be involved, to thwart Federation entry. Thank you for your time. I wish you well on your search. Constable Lixi is so dead set against Morassia joining the Federation, she might have planted the illegal species herself to sabotage the petition process. It's possible the constable felt that telling us about her argument with the doctor would arouse our suspicions. But why would she withhold information about the escapes? I guess we'll find out soon. I'm going to leave it here for now. We've got a lot more investigations to do. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.